this is Dalen75 Games. Welcome back to another Let's Play of Europa Universalis 4. I'm playing as Germania. It's a converted save from Crusader Kings 2. No, I did not cheat <laughs> by 1501. I started out as little Brandenburg, hit Prussia on the middle of Germania. No, that didn't happen. I don't think that's possible, but there's always some goof that'll say, yeah, I did it. No, I don't believe that's possible. So we are gunning for Scotland right now. Let's move the fleet up here. We just took one province from Poland. I want to keep Poland there. I created them in Crusader Kings 2. They're as a, like a bulwark against Rus and the pagans of the east. Same with Lithuania and Finland, which is being gobbled up by Norway and Sweden. But no, Norway, Denmark are at war with Sweden. I do want to be... I screwed up and uh, ended the alliance with them. I need to see... Uh, what's the date? October 1502. I think I'll try to go back. I could give them money. This is the only thing I could do at this point to try to help them in their war. Uh, subsidies. Is that point one? Oh, you can minimum 10 years, okay. Uh, prove Sweden's opinion of us by 31. Let's go 10. Because our income is so massive. Well, 51 now that we're giving it away. Let's go to war. Take the last of Scotland. Well, we have no Cassus Belly. I don't know if we can get that, actually. Because we're not next to them. Fabricate claims. Yeah, I can. Western Isles. That'll take a little while. Let's go sit over here. Sit in Ulster for the time being. I'm fairly certain I can get rid of this place. Let's see. Let's see about the last of the churches. A lot of wealthy places here. Try to go for point ten and over. Get one more. Okay, so there's a few more here. Let's get the best of them. Yeah, this game's so much fun to play. Especially I, when I mod music or mod anything into a game, it just makes it that more exciting for me personally. So I, I probably triple the amount of songs that are in here. I added about 100 of my own. And they, they do play with during certain periods, so they won't all play now. Uh, you have to be at war for some of them. Probably about a third of them are for war. And the rest are for peacetime. And there are different eras. The Renaissance era up to 1600, which is just less. 98 years left of that for music. It's also medieval music in that. And then the, the bulk, the heart of the game, 1600 to 1750, is the uh, music from the Baroque period. And then the last 70 years is classical music. In a core province, Lothian. Uh, I do believe estates demand more control of territory. Okay, so the burgers are less happy than they were. I wanted them to be over 60%. Grant admiralship. They, that's okay if, if you're below the influence level. So I would get 69% if I went with this. It's for an admiral for, with 40 tradition. I'd do it if I needed to. Uh, say if I was at war with the Byzantines and I saw they have a large fleet, I would totally do that right now. D uh, recruit minister to... Pl 20, lose 20 loyalty. Lose 20 loyalty. Grant monopoly charters. Gain 15 loyalty. It's till fi 20 years I can do that. There's really nothing I can do besides granting them an estate. So what about Northumberland? Uh, local trade power plus 50. So it does add things other than just making them happy. 50%. But they also... How does autonomy affect you other than them wanting to go independent at some point? Um, do you lose 25% if they have 25% autonomy of, like, income? I don't know how that works exactly. 
Increase their loyalty by like 0. 0.4. Don't think that's enough. We still need more. Oh, Meath. I think Munster was the best. Oh, it's already Clergy. Burgers already have Meath. Um, Lothian actually would be good. Isn't that the traditional capital of Scotland? Burgers. Okay, yeah, it actually says in the very bottom I would get the trade efficiency with this, so it's 0.6. Okay, so that's good. I want to keep them at least 60%. But every time I expand, it's going to go down, because it's a proportion of the total national tax modifier. Probably should... Mm, I don't know. For the clergy, I don't know what to do about that. If I develop more within the place that they have as their estate, they, I'm not sure if it will make them happier. It may. Increase time. Well, Sweden is beating Denmark down there. Uh, they were... Oh, no, this isn't from Sweden. This is peasants. <laughs> Norway is being wracked by a peasant revolt right now. But they do have this down here. Can I see how how they're doing? So negative fifty nine percent. Damn it, that's not good. Well, where's my fleet? It's right here, sitting right here. I'm not sure if this is enough to deal with them. I need that army to go after Scot that fleet to go after Scotland. Well, in the meantime, let's grab an army from down here. Put it up here in Holstein. It's something I can do at least. Okay, so that truce should end with them any day. October 1502, so next month. Truce expired. See if they'll accept the alliance. I can't declare war on a country of guaranteed alliance action. Offer alliance. Still no. Well, they're not going to like me for a while, it seems. Minus 1,000. I still can try it. No. There's a small chance. There's nothing I can do to help them other than giving them that money, or declaring war on, say, these guys myself. I could do that. Declare war. I uh, need a, a CB on them. Noble families feud. Violence among leading families within a state was never far from the surface. Often this instability would boil over into open conflict. The result was less than a full-blown civil war, but could immensely disturb the stability of a state. Let them fight it out. I don't mind losing the side with one family. Yeah, let them rise up. Our army is they're ready to go. Oh, there's an army here. Go take care of this. Sweden is beating Denmark, but they seem to be losing elsewhere. No, no, they're not. Maybe all that money I've been sending them has helped them out. Oh, okay, so they did lose. Uh, Russ has declared war on Norway. not good. Hmm. So they did lose... What did they lose? I th did they have not... They had that, I think. I'm not positive if they had that or not. But they did lose... Looks like they lost, like, these two and this and this. Sweden is smaller than it was. Okay, so they're no longer at war. Let's see if I can't... For alliance is still not good to take it. Damn it. Always look at what you're doing before you do it. Rule of life. Good rule to follow. 
Claims fabricated. Now we have it on Scotland. Just go with this guy. Copper trading happened to us. Oh yeah, this is one thing I haven't shown since the beginning of the game. Because our empire is so large, we have all these country modifiers. Some of them are pretty solid. Uh, usually, usually forgiven. Okay, that's from the Pope. That doesn't. That's not what I'm trying to show. I don't know where's that one. Where's that one? Where's that one? <laughs> okay, trading in wine. Stability cost modifier. We have 40% of the world's wine. Uh, as long as it's 20%. Above 20% will retain the 10% stability cost modifier. Trading in cloth, mercenary maintenance, minus 15%. I'm so big, unless I get into a brutal war with the Byzantines, I can't see that ever being helpful. But uh, it's trading in cloth, as long as it's above 20%, we have 35.50. So that's going to be... That's the entire world's cloth. So Culture conversion cost, minus 10%, because we have 25.30% 25.30 of the fish trade and trading in salt, uh, land maintenance modifier minus 10%, really good, very helpful. Because we have 25% of the salt in the world, trading naval supplies plus 10% naval force limit modifier because we have 24.60% of naval supplies in the world. Trading in copper, so we're just above 20% at 21%, that's why we get recruit time minus 10, that's the least of all the, bon the bonuses I get, if you ask me. Regiment cost, minus 5%, uh, it's because we have 35.10% of all the iron in the world. Okay, we can declare war. Take Western Isles. The last of the war with Scotland. Hopefully. Done. Now I just siege them down. Well, there's really not much I can do against. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna turn these forts on. Could always take the territory they lost and sell it back to them. We need a CB on them. Want on Slesvig. Slesvig? Slesvig? Their war enthusiasm is low, of course. It's done. <laughs> They're done. Finish off their navy. Oh, we seem to have grabbed a ship uh, from one of our previous battles. It's one little guy. Where is it? A bark. I, I don't know how to say that. How do you say that, actually? Really, Carrick. Down there. Is it, it's not Baroque, is it? Yeah, it just looks like bark. Because there's a O between the R and Q in Baroque, I believe. Just call it a bark. A bark like a dog. Super peace. And the one thing that's really like nice, you couldn't do this in EU3. Uh, you can also get money when you, you take them, uh, take all their counties. Even if it's their last county, you can still get money out of them, the last of their money. You couldn't do that. Say, like, it would really annoy me because I knew, say, like, the Aztecs, when you have them down to their last province, and you know that they have tons of money. Every time I attack them, I would get tons of money from them, and they'd be hoarding it for a while. So it's probably over a gold mine. So you go to take their last county, your last province, but you don't get any money from it. But at least with this EU4, you can do that. Oops, that suggests demands. there. Okay, leave this army here. 
Oh, we'll have to bring over the fleet, the main fleet. How is it looking for... Okay, force limits is pretty good for our navy. We can build more ships. Uh, these guys... There's 10 light ships there. I'd like 10 for this group, too. I can actually build 10 and 9. So that would... So 19. And that would give me another 2 groups for protecting trade routes and 10 for the fleet. Build ship. 19 of them. There. Let's just bring this over. Here. I'm not doing it to take territory from Denmark for myself. I want to give it to Sweden. Oh, Russ is totally destroying Lithuania. That's all what I want. Looks like I'm going to have to go to war with them. Do I have any Cassus Belly? That's irritating. I'm going to try to get one against uh, Minsk. That's really irritating. They didn't do it in... They couldn't do it in um, Crusader Kings 2, but they're trying for it now. Okay, they discovered my agent. Not good for overall diplomacy everywhere. This has got to be close to the next tech. And then I'll just core the last of the places that I have. really close. April. A few months. Ability seats modifier recruit minister has expired. Influence is now 52. That's good. Their influence has gone down a lot. Oh, so the, the thing with the uh, the burgers is not helping either. Sure, but I, I could just have to give them more territory. I don't really want to do that. Here we go. That new idea group and Noble Republic, which doesn't help us. The notion of noble oligarchy ruling the society has existed since, well, at least the Roman times and remained popular in some parts of the world. Now this idea is once more gaining popularity amongst those who matter. That's the idea group that I am looking forward to. Now we're going to go exploration. Quest for the New World. Yes. So th that will take advantage of my diplomacy. Unlock the Exploration Ideas Group. We can get this immediately, actually. Uh, is there anything in Diplomacy? We get new ships. Caraval and Carrick. Uh, well, that's good. It is good. But we do need to get... Sorry. Quest for the new world allows recruitment of explorers. You know what? I'm going to get the next ship upgrade. Then I'll, I'll go for exploration ideas. Because we get the the fleet and the light ships, the heavy and light upgraded, and that's kind of important. And that actually should be pretty quick for tech. January 1506, so... But a year and a half. Okay, when is the Cassus Belly ready? Agent was discovered by Russ. To hell with them. Declare war. Nope. Still not up. Ah, I can't believe it. So they did take at least this. They may have taken that as well. I mean, one thing I can do is guarantee these guys, but Poland, Sweden, and Spain, that's three. I don't really have anything else. Oh, yeah, I'm guaranteeing Knights Hospitaller. Okay from uh, aggression from the Byzantines. 
I can't, unless I want to go over the limit, I can't do anything about that. Okay, let us get the last of these, this church. Was there, oh, I guess they had it there already. So that should be it. Oh, it actually went up in um, Ireland. It does fluctuate, it changes. This is also one here. Nothing over the islands. Oh, there's a big one. Another big one. I think we were converting the culture. So that's just income per month. Let's barracks, castle, marketplace. This is for trade, not workshop production efficiency. They both help. I'm not sure. Local trade power plus 50%. They probably all help. I think I should continue on with marketplace. I'm not honestly not sure, but there's probably some really good picks from the production to help out. Well, we're gaining territory. Our allies around us, or the people we set up, are losing territory. Germania, Germania, Britain. We do need a uh, CB here. Try to gobble it all up the next next go at them. There we go. Advocate claim. I sure their capital. <laughs> the England English have become Scots. <laughs> That's kind of silly. get that little ship out of there. What's this? Uh, Libertas Ecclesiae. The clergy has long been one of the foremost pillars of the German realm, providing not only spiritual guidance, but also administrators, judges, and diplomats for the benefit of our empress. In return for these great services, no ecclesiastical manor, monastery, or other estate pay any taxes to the state, and the temporal authorities do not meddle in the eternal affairs of the clergy. Times grow dire, however, and the state has to cover an increasing number of expenses. Suggestions that perhaps the clergy might make a voluntary contribution have not been favorably received. I lose a lot of loyalty from that. We'll find our money elsewhere. Oh, they gain 10 loyalty. Well, you want some places. Clergy. So let's walk in. It's burgers. Clergy. Yeah, I just wanted to get them up to their happy. That's that's all I needed. All right, guys, gonna end the video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.